Bank theft today is alive and well. Just like in the earlier bank times where you had Bonnie and Clyde, Pretty Boy Floyd, John Dillinger, you have modern banks, thieves, and robbers. It is not always at gunpoint, as you see on TV and in the news. As a matter of fact, the vast majority of money taking in modern times is not via gunpoint or through abject violence, but through computer networks. You see, no matter how big your guns are, no matter how big your gang is, no matter how many banks you attempt to rob, you can never rob 76 million households the old-fashioned way. And that's just one bank and one incident. Recently, details have emerged of an unprecedented cyber robbery that targeted banks, e-payment systems, and other financial institutions worldwide. Cyber criminals penetrated right into the very heart of the accounting systems, inflating account balances before pocketing the extra funds via a fraudulent transaction. For example, the account has $1,000. The criminals change it so that it has $10,000, then transfer $9,000 to themselves. Up to one billion American dollars was stolen in about two years. The crooks grabbed these huge sums of cash by hacking banks, stealing up to $10 million in each raid. Veritasium makes it virtually impossible for anybody to fake accounting, change recorded accounting figures, or create money out of thin air. We accomplish this by properly utilizing the blockchain technology behind Bitcoin. When I say properly, I mean by giving every individual their own peer-to-peer -peer banking system. Needless to say, this doesn't sit very well at all with the captains of the legacy banking industry. But facts are facts, and technology cometh. The Veritasium difference? Veritasium is fully autonomous. In other words, it gives you complete independence, complete control, subject to nothing and none other than your own whims. Banks, centralized hosted wallets, centralized repositories, or heteronymous, the absolute and abject difference of autonomy. Banks, centralized and hosted wallets force you to give up control custody and possession of your assets, where Veritasium enables and forces you to keep control, custody, and possession of your assets, unless you choose to explicitly give it up. The stark difference between autonomy and heteronomy cannot be overemphasized. For instance, once you do decide to give up control, possession, and ownership of your assets, the bank or the regulators of the bank can then take your assets from you. The Cypriot bank bail-in is probably the most stark example of what happens when you decide to give up your control, possession, and custody of your assets. The Cypriots have lost 47.5% of all uninsured uh, deposits. That is not what most people intend when they put their money into a bank. You are building what you call a virtual Goldman Sachs on top of Bitcoin. Tell us about it. Well, a virtual Goldman Sachs on top of the Bitcoin and protocol and network sends the extreme conflicts of interest and the uh, excessive bonus compensation. It's sort of long. So basically, I'm building a more efficient financial system. The logic behind the Too Big to Fail movement was that there are certain entities, certain banks that are so big, they cannot fail without dragging down the rest of the financial world. Absolute nonsense. You know, goldfish doodle. Banks have been failing for the two or three thousand years that we've been having banks. Probably before three thousand years when we had cavemen trading rocks, basically. One caveman had too many rocks he couldn't carry, he fell, broke his leg, he's out of business. Did cavemen stop existing? Did rocks stop? No. We had another guy who picked up the rocks and started doing business. I've created an invention. I've created this. What I've created was, or my team and I've created, was a wallet that in and itself allows each and every person to become their own investment bank, commercial bank, um, exchange, stock exchange, bond exchange, etc., and lender. Um, basically, through this personal wallet, you now have loans without banks, trades without exchanges, contracts without lawyers. Uh, this is phenomenal, and as uh, you may know, this is a direct threat to the hedge money that stands as a middleman that fails to add value.
it is disruption to the nth degree. That end users can go in their private wallet and create on their own. You design your smart contract, you create a letter of credit, you trade over 10,000 tickers for the exposure of Google, you could short JP Morgan, you can go long the Korean won. You could do all really this. really hate J.P. Morgan, right? <laughs> it's not about hate, it's business. Business is business, business, right? I don't want to put him out yeah. of the door. It's business, not personal. The banks are going to hate you. When you use your money to do a transaction or make a deal, all transactions are basically agreements uh, or simple contracts. You can embed the contract or the agreement into the money. So the money is the agreement and the agreement is a contract. Hence, uh, the agreements are unbreakable because they're programmable and embedded into the money. And we can take these unbreakable contracts or unbreakable promises and we can use them to imitate business functions, any business function. Uh, the first part that we have out, uh, value trading, um, imitates the business functions of investment banks and brokerages. So you can trade roughly a little over 75,000 tickers in a wide variety of assets, asset classes, stocks, bonds, commodities, silver, across all major exchanges throughout the world, peer-to-peer, -peer, with no exchange risk. Um, you have control of your money um, without a broker, without an exchange. That's one example out of, I'd say, about 15 others that we're working on.